Hi guys, I'm Andrew from Cruise Master and today we're going to be talking about common faults and maintenance of air suspensions. So first up, let's talk about leaks in airbag systems. It's a bit of a misconception that the most common thing to leak in an air suspension is the airbag itself. We actually find that to be very uncommon. It's typically related to the airline and most commonly in installations. You'll see air leaks in a couple of ways. Potentially you'll see the pressure dropping on your pressure gauge on the control panel or alternatively you'll see that your caravan or trailer is a bit lower on one side than the other and that will show that there's some air coming out of the airbag at a, at a rate which is a bit unusual. From that point of view, it is important to note that you will get some air leak over time. No, um, no system is perfectly sealed. We typically say that about seven PSI over a week is acceptable. Any more than that, then you might want to consider having a look at things. All right, so let's get into leaks. So with airline, the most common thing we see is the airline not being cut properly. So this particular one here is a bit squished and a bit mangled. So if we were to install that into a fitting like this one we've got here, there's a O-ring in here which seals onto the airline. If it's not square, it won't create a nice seal. So in order to do that, we get our special pipe cutters. There's one of these supplied with every air suspension. We put it in the cutter, We'll cut it off and you'll see that that's now a nice round hose with no burrs or dags on the edge and you can push it into the fitting and you get a nice click like that. And that's the claws grabbing onto the, onto the airline. So that's all good to go. All right, so we'll just head over to the trailer now and I'll show you another couple of things. Another area that we see issues with, particularly from installation, is the airline to the fitting getting stressed. So that seal that we talked about earlier, if there is pressure on the airline or it, um, it goes in at a funny angle, it'll cause a leak in the fitting as well. So we sometimes see that where air control systems are pushed into tight spaces in the caravan. As it's pushed in, the airlines and the fittings get stressed and then you get a bit of a leak from there as well. So. All right, let's, um, let's show you the airbags and we'll talk about that. Airbag leaks and damage is most commonly caused by abrasion. So that'll be something getting stuck between the bag and potentially the control arm that causes the bag to get rubbed through. It is exceedingly rare because we do consider that when we design the suspension arms to make sure that the things that you most commonly see on the outback tracks in Australia does just pass through the suspension arm and doesn't cause any issues. But let me show you one thing that we found over the years. Under here, we have our rebound cable and how we install them and how we specify them to be installed is the rebound cable gets pushed out of the way. If it's installed incorrectly or particularly unlucky, the, the rebound cable can sit up against the airbag and as it's traveling, the rebound cable can rub on the airbag and this can cause a very slow leak once it rubs through the material. The construction of an airbag is very similar to a tire, so they are very strong. The benefit in this case is the fact it's not in contact with the ground and getting punctured by rocks all the time, so they do last a hell of a long time. We've been doing airbag systems now for many, many years, and we're now seeing airbags that we installed at the beginning 15 years ago they're up for replacement, but just because they're old, not because they've been damaged. So they are a very reliable product. If you do believe you have a leak, the number one tool to use to find that is a squirty bottle with a water and soap mixture in it. And you go around and spray anything where there is a connection. For example here, there's a threaded connection. There is the collet with the O-ring and where the airline goes into the fitting. So you would spray that and if it is leaking, you'll see bubbles come out of the joint and you know that's a problem and then it'll be time to fix it. If you haven't been able to find a leak in any of the visible lines underneath the caravan, 
there is a chance that the leak is in the control panel. Now we advise because these are quite complicated and there's lots of sensitive parts in the back, it's best not to approach the control panel and pull it apart trying to find the leak. We advise that you take it into a repairer and they'll be able to help you out. When traveling in remote areas, we get a lot of questions about spare parts to take on trips. So the main two things you want to have a look at is airbags and small components. We find that people who buy airbags to take on their trips don't typically use them because it's so rare that you'll have a problem with the airbag. So we advise you don't have to take one with you. If you do have a problem, we can get one out to you throughout the country. For spare parts for emergency breakdowns, we do this little kit here, which you can put in one of your cupboards in the caravan and only use it when you have a problem. So let's open it up and I'll show you what's in here. So in the kit here, you'll find a bit of airline. This allows you to bypass a fault in the system. In this box here is the tube cutter. So if you do need to cut a line, it makes sure that it's nice and square. Then we have a few fittings in this bag. In here, there is straight joiners. This allows you to join a good piece of pipe um, to a potentially a spare piece in case you've got a damaged bit of airline. And then finally in here, we've got some Schrader fittings. So if you do have a higher level air control system, there's a fault with the control system itself, you can disconnect that, put these in line and fill it up from an external compressor. So that's your kind of last get you home kit. Also in these bags is some plugs if you do need to plug off a bit of airline. Right, let's get into maintenance. The most common thing you'll need to do on your air system is to drain the water out of the tank. So as the air gets compressed, the water comes out of the air and then it condenses in the nice cold tank and it gets and ends up accumulating in there. You need to drain the water out of your air system so that you don't get it into valves and things like that where it can cause corrosion. On Cruise Master suspensions, we have two types of drain valves. On level three, it's a mechanical valve underneath the tank, just like you'd find in the compressor in your shed. The other method is on our level three wireless and our level four, we have an electronic dump valve. So this is a button on the front of the control panel, which activates the solenoid, which dumps the water and air out of the tank. So it's as simple as that. If you are operating in particularly dusty conditions, the next thing we'd advise is that you keep an eye on your air filter. It's on the back of the compressor here, or in some cases remotely mounted is a little foam air filter. If that's starting to look a bit grubby, replace that. On your annual service, the service technicians will have a look at the suspension whilst it's up on the hoist, and then to be looking out for things like damage to airlines, kinks, uh, rubbing in the airlines and things like that, as well as make sure that everything is nice and tight. As far as frequency of maintenance is concerned, for checking out the entire suspension, that's best done when you're having your um, scheduled services, so that's every 10,000 kilometers. As far as dumping the water out of the tank, that will depend on how much you're using it. So if the caravan is stored and the compressor's off, you don't need to worry about it. However, if you're on the road every day, say you're up north where the humidity um, is quite high, then you need to be doing it more often. And that will range from about a week onwards. What I would advise is you do it a bit more frequently at the beginning, see how much water's coming out. If there isn't much, prolong the period and then you'll find the happy medium. If you do have to seal any threaded fittings whilst you're out on the road, please don't use thread tape. We get little chunks of thread tape fall off in the airlines, they end up jamming valves and causing other issues. 
So we advise that you use a thread sealant like Loctite 567 on threaded joints. So that's it for today's Cruise Masterclass on leak detection and air system maintenance. If you'd like to learn more about your Cruise Master air suspension, we've got other videos in our Cruise Master class, so make sure you check those out. We're always releasing new videos out on social media, on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook, so keep an eye out to make sure you don't miss out.